Hello and welcome back to the Entertainment Vortex. Today I'm going to be unboxing the new Collector's Core box that just came in over the weekend around the Incredible Hulk. Uh, the box itself is actually really cool. It looks like it has the image of the Hulk here and I'm probably actually going to end up keeping the box as well. So we'll go ahead and get this process started. I'm going to show you a couple of things that are in there as far as like the list of importance for me as far as what's in the box. There, I believe there's also going to be a shirt in there as well and we'll try that on and make sure that it's true to size. All right, so it looks like there's a total of one, two, three, four, five items that are in the box. First up is gonna be a stress ball version of the Dorbs Hulk. Um, it's definitely cute. It's something that I'll probably put on my desk just to have. I don't know if I'll be squeezing it too much. I don't necessarily have as many rage issues as Bruce Banner does, so. But it's really cute. Like I said, I'll probably put it on my desk. And it looks like we also have a patch uh, for either like a jacket or, or you know, something along those lines. It looks like it might be iron-on. Um, I'll probably end up putting this on a jacket that I have that I'm gonna start putting patches on. Uh, but it's super cool. It has that old like comic book style Hulk on it. Definitely kind of, spells things going in the right direction as far as what's in the box, but it's definitely really cool. Next, we have a keychain version of the Thor Ragnarok uh, Hulk. I have the large version of this, so I'm actually really excited that I was able to get this one as well. I'll end up putting this on my keys, and I'm pretty excited about this. It has that same like style with the helmet and with the armor, similar to you know the one from the movie, but also from Planet Hulk which is one of the most popular Hulk series as far as the comic books are concerned. So I'm really excited about that as well. And then next up, we have the shirt. So the shirt looks like it has the stages of, tr of transformation from Bruce Banner all the way up to the Hulk. Uh, it looks like it should fit, but I'll go ahead and try this on and we'll take a look to see if it is true to size. And I'll be back in three, two. So it looks like it does fit. Um, it is true to size. It's nice and long. It doesn't, it's not like super short. I don't feel like if I lift up my arms, I'm going to start showing off things that I'm not prepared to show off. The shirt fits really nice. It's really well presented. It's not it, like going too far off to the sides where you wouldn't be able to see it if I have my arms down. I really like this shirt a lot. I'm probably going to put it in regular rotation. But as far as the final item in the box, this is the thing that I'm easily the most excited about just seeing it from what I can see in the box here. So this is a double edition pop. I don't know if we're able to see it here. And it has Bruce and the Hulk. These are based around the very first edition of the Hulk. It has that gray kind of style. It shows the kind of the roots of the book as far as where they started this character from. You know, it has kind of similarities to Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster and uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Like it has these similarities to these old stories and the pop really just shows a lot of that off. The Hulk character is absolutely massive in here. It looks like it's probably a six inch character and then we have a standard size character for Bruce. Um, this is an excellent pop, an excellent mold. I'm really excited to have this for my collection and the, the box is nice and big so it'll be kind of one of those cornerstones that you put you know towards the front so that everyone can see it. I'm really excited about how this turned out. So the last thing that shows up in the box is um, just kind of an overview of the process as far as the way that some of these things are picked and the way that they're made. Uh, but what's really cool is that it shows when the next box is coming with a little bit of a hint. So I have a sneaking suspicion that there's a potential that this might be something based around X-Men, maybe, um, maybe something around the Wolverine because it looks like you can almost see his face in there, but the way that it's claw marked, I mean, that would be what I would think. And so that should be coming around in February. You should start seeing advertisements for this as far as when you can start uh, pre-ordering that and getting that ordered. Uh, I'm really excited to order mine. Like I said, this is my very first one of these Collector Core Series boxes, and I'm thoroughly excited for what came in the box, and I'm really excited to add these to my collection. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel uh, to get movie reviews, uh, pop news and unboxings, as well as other projects that we're working on and gaming content. There's gonna be at least four videos on this uh, channel per week. To check out our pop culture news video, go ahead and click the link up here on the top. And then to check out our movie review from this week, go ahead and click the link down here. I hope you'll follow us into the Vortex. We'll see you next time.